Collins, the country's top-ranked passer. Brad, change up for Indiana, playing a 5-3. Only three defensive backs on the field. <laughs> on first down, the toss to Carter. Kajana hit low, submarined Indiana defensively. Had five up front to start that play, but Troy Drake, their fifth-year senior, 11 tackles last week against Michigan State is their leader. Hammerstein, the other tackle. Pinnock and Davis on the outside. Trevor Wilmot had his best game of the year last season against Penn State with 10 stops. Terrell and Thurman, who just made the last tackle. And Smedley, two interceptions last week with Mucci, Warnecki, and Lance Brown, the senior safety. The second down at 10 for Penn State. Off play action is Collins. Comes up firing and a little bit low intended for Justin Williams incomplete. All that means is it's third and 10. Four wide outs for Collins. Comes up firing, and he's going to get the pass complete, but not for a first down. Philip Collins. Jurevicius almost had it blocked. In fact, it was deflected, so there's no flag on the play. And Indiana will take over after just a 16-yard kick at the Penn State 44. First down offensively. Pacey and a little keeper on the option. Now Pacey maybe got a yard offensively for the Hoosiers. Alex Smith, their sensational redshirt freshman, the number six rusher in the country with Pacey and Lee. Ajamu Stoner makes his first start of the year today at wide receiver with Eddie Beatty in a bit of a slump. Matthews and McKinnon round out the receiving four. And up front, a guy that the pro scouts think might be a high draft choice as a pro guard, Andrew Green with Lukowski the other side, side the center, and Smith and Lewinsky are the tackles. No gain for Pacey on that keeper at second down and 10. And the give inside is to Smith. And Alex Smith goes inside the 40 to the 39. Nobody really knows that much about. We do know Brandon Noble starts for Eric Clare, who's out with that broken foot. Mazik, the other tackle, Perry and Atkins on the outside. The number nine tackler career-wise at Penn State is Brian Gelsheiser with Yaboa Cody and Smith on the outside. Brian Miller had two interceptions against Ohio State last week with Pittman, Dingle, and Holes. Out of the shotgun with four wide outs for Pacey. And the pass completed. And a first down to Beatty, and he breaks away. So much for the slump. Eddie Beatty with a big first down catch. On first down, Pacey off play action rolls right into an outside linebacker and throws incomplete and ball at the 27. The fans of Memorial Stadium kind of hold their breath right now, hoping Indiana can capitalize on the partially blocked punt. Glover, the fullback. Three, maybe four. He's off of him right here. Let's see if he goes to it to the right side of the field. On a third down and seven. Just inside the 24-yard line. Smith. Well, he got a couple, that's all. A rather conservative call. Bill Manilopoulos was five out of eight on the season. He'll line it up. His long this year is 37. This one's going to be from 38 yards. We'll check out from behind. Manilopoulos. Got plenty on it. Nope, no good. Pushed it a little bit to the right. And an opportunity for now Penn State. Indiana in with the nickel. Lions from just inside the 22. And it's the fullback, John Whitman. And Whitman swarmed under. Bit of a chess match going on. So far, it's paid off for the Indiana defense. And it paid off again. Brian Milne taken down. The Indiana defense has given up big plays on third down, and Penn State's a pretty good big play team on third down. Third and nine here, and Collins fires incomplete. They made him roll out. And defense forcing two straight three and outs. Sure a vicious punt. Eddie Beatty camps under this one. Takes it without a fair catch. Gutsy move, and it pays off. He got about four on the return. Two tight end set for the Hoosiers. Hoosmeyer and McKinnon both in there. Alex Smith, the single setback, but it's Pacey to throw on first down. John fires outside, complete, and got it to the 48-yard line from the Nittany Lions, 47. Alex Smith, close to a first down. To the Minnesota Gophers, and what he did in 86, if he keeps up his current pace, he'll have no problem. Third and one. Smith again. Has to spin his way for what looks like a first down, but it's going to be close. First and 10, Indiana. 7.25 to go, first quarter, no score. 
Pacey fires outside and a man wide open and badly under through Eric Matthews. They missed a 38 yard field goal the first time they got their hands on the ball. Three wide outs. Pacey throws a slant in and this one's right on the money. First down to Jamu Stoner inside the 30 of the 26. <laughs> first down at the 26. We approach seven minutes first quarter. Back to what they do best. Smith, but he lost the ball. Tremendous hit, but Pacey covered it. Back outside, the Nittany Lion 30. Pacey throws screen pass on the outside to Smith, and he got back what he lost with a fumble. Still Penn State loves to play a deep zone with a robber in the middle of the field. Let's see if they come with a coverage. Indiana doesn't want to get it robbed here in the ninth play of a drive. Still looking for points. Pacey loads it, reloads it, and goes down. With the sack, that's going to force them to punt, and Bill Mallory very upset that they aren't able to kick it three out of the play. Trying to pooch one now. Oh, man, what a punt. But is it too deep? No, it's not. Down at the four. DeGiulio hit it a mile in the air. And starts at the four after a great punt. Dejana Carter, the second time he's touched it today. And he picks up five onto the nine. Troy Drake in on the stop. Should give Kerry Collins some room to put the ball up. We'll see if he does. Second down and five from the nine-yard line. Collins finds a big tight end. And I mean a big tight end. Kyle Brady, first down Penn State. The king tight end in the country. And you see he's got pretty good hands, too. First down for Collins. Goes right back to him. And after the 32-yard line, a pickup of nine more. First and ten, Penn State, back-to-back -back first down. To give to Carter. Kajana got a couple, that's it. Troy Drake. Personal foul, great hit on the defense. But that was not a smart move, but he gives him the, against Penn State, rather, a first down at the 49. Collins comes up firing, quick slant, completes it to Bobby Ingram, who runs well after the catch. And picks up 13 and another first down. First down now at the Indiana 38 yard line. Three minutes left first quarter. Still scoreless in Bloomington. This play fake by Collins wants to throw a screen to Carter and does with blockers in front. And Kajana Carter. When you get him out there, you go, what makes the offense go? Collins, nice spin on a slant. And inside the 10 is Bobby Ingram. Penn State in the red zone, the best in the conference. And they've got it at the 10-yard line. Collins, first and goal. Looks left the whole way, comes back to the right. And completes it down to the five-yard line. Freddie Scott, a minute 45 left in the quarter. Kajana Carter and Mill in the backfield. Carter gets the call. He also gets Lewis Pinnock all over. Tight end. From the seven of Indiana. Play action to the end zone. Touchdown. Brady. <laughs> Only missed one all year. And he puts this one right through the middle. Two times for first downs, the third time for the touchdown on third down and goal. Number 12, this passer rating 194.75. And you said earlier about 30 points higher than anybody else in the country. Game, I think that's really got him going for the 94 season. Probably the final play of the first quarter is a second and seven Indiana. Their own 34-yard line. KC double pumps, waited too long to throw it. It's incomplete. They got to like what happened in the first quarter, though their team's not on the board. They're hanging tough with the number two team in the country. It is 7 0 Penn State. So now they got a huge third and seven. From the shotgun. Pacey with time, now running out of time and trying to run for the first down and does. That's what he does well, Gary. First down at the 45. Give is to Cheney, Jermaine Cheney. Second down and nine. A minute into the second quarter. 7 0 Penn State. Smith, Alex Smith, holding on to the ball with both hands that time. And he was hoping that Indiana would be about 7 and 1 when this date took place, though. That's what he told us earlier in the year. 
On a third down over the middle. Man open and uh, the five going with the win. This is against the win and to Mike Archie. And this one not nearly as good off the side of his foot. It almost hit somebody over there in row one about earlier. Look at the numbers. First quarter scores and now we're into the second quarter. That's just as good. And an end around coming. And it's Bobby Ingram to the corner. Nice job to stretch it out. Indiana did a heck of a job in the losing effort against Michigan State last week. Second down and nine. Collins wants to go right back to Carter after the play fake and does, but a nice open field tackle there. We anticipate one here. Here comes a blitz. Collins throws a wide out screen. Is it going to be a first down to Freddie Scott? I think so. We talked about efficiency. There's his numbers on the day, including the touchdown throw to his tight end. Deep handoff. Looked like it was going to be play action, and now it's play Carter. Kajana Carter still on his feet. And flags go down as Carter gets all the way to the 28-yard line. The legal block on Penn State, and indeed, they're going to bring it back. Today, they've been kept in check pretty well by Indiana. 7-0. Second quarter, first down at the 40 of the Hoosiers. Archie now. Two or three. Second down at 7. Ball at the 37. Indiana maybe offside there. Collins off play action. Throws it over the middle, almost intercepted. Allen had his hands on it. Best in the Big Ten on third down. It's third and seven, Penn State. Archie in motion. Collins stands tall, lays it out. This one is intercepted. Picked off by Eric Smedley. Flag down, but I think it may have been a face mask after the interception. Interceptions last week. A pickoff here. He's face masked that'll add to it. And Indiana will take over on offense. And the tall, talented Chris Ditto will take the quarterback controls for Indiana. Long handoff to Smith. Too long. And he's going to lose a yard. Well, here's Chris Ditto, the big kid Gary talked about, who's the pure pocket passer. He's come in in the second quarter, with the exception of those couple games Gary talked about. Second down at 11. Play fake by Ditto, and he lays it out. And he got it to Tom McKinnon, the tight end. Four wideouts for Ditto. Buys himself some time. Fires a rocket to Beatty. First down. There wasn't much room there. Picks up a first down. 8.20 to go in the half. 7-0 Penn State. Ditto fires out. He's got a man open again. It's a Jamu Stoner. And Stoner into Penn State territory for 15 more at one time. Hit a tunnel and keep on going. On a first down, the running game has not been working. Smith dropped for a loss. I think there's some holes in that second there. Indiana having trouble on the ground, but for that matter, so is Penn State. Second down at 14. Ditto! Whew. Had some smoke on that one to Kearney. First down at the Penn State 35-yard line. Sean Glover. Glover wrapped up. And that that's right. He was worried about the mud on that one pair of dress pants back about 40 years ago. Did a wanted to throw a screen, double pumps now, and throws that one away in a line from screen. Third and ten. Here comes a blitz on Ditto. Loads it and airs it for Stoner. Touchdown! the blitz. Chris Ditto does a perfect job of recognizing that. Stoner baits his man to the outside, beats Jason Collins to the post, and a perfect drive culminated by Ditto to put this game in a deadlock 7-7. 75 yard drive and nine plays and Ditto caps it with a touchdown. We're tied. Indiana I think has stunned even their own crowd. This is as good a crowd as we've seen in this building any time we've been here, I think. And a little bit of a mishandle by Fletcher. He finally picks it up, and now he finds himself a seam. Lance Brown there to meet him, or he might have been off to the races. From the 34, counter to Kajana Carter. Woo, nice hit by Trevor Wilmot. We told you he had a... <laughs> and we know what's big on Baywatch. <laughs> Collins off play action. 
Down the middle of Brady, the tight end. He's got another one, and he's into Indiana territory all the way to the 47-yard line. Big target. Freddie Scott hustles over wide left as well. Collins looks his way. Freddie Scott inside the 40 in a tough run. Still on his feet. Just about tiptoed down the sideline. He did tiptoe for a first down. And now he has grown into quite a receiver. First down at the 36. Here's a toss. Carter, broken tackle. Kajana still on his feet, breaks another one. Tremendous run by Carter. Inside the 20. First down inside the 20 again now for Penn State. Collins comes up firing, going to throw the fade for Scott. Freddie pulls it in. Touchdown. Wow. I think he's got better hands than Dad, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> 18 yards and a quick drive of 1 minute and 31 seconds. That's more like Penn State and what they've done this year as they took it 66 yards in just a minute and a half. But we're going to stop it just as he catches it. Right there, he catches the ball. His foot is off the ground. His next foot that comes down is out of bounds, and then he drags his left foot. That is not a touchdown. One was an ancient drive for them, as I talked about earlier, a little over four minutes. And with the win, the kick carries way out of the end zone, so it won't mean much if he can't come back into this game. Still only trailing Penn State by a touchdown. First down at the 20. Ditto wants to throw the quick out and does complete. Pickup of about five to Dorian Wilkerson. And that was on the throwaway on the screen. He just threw it into the ground. Second down and five. Smith, big hole this time for Alex Smith. Cuts outside and keeps his footing. And that's more like what we've grown accustomed to seeing from this redshirt freshman. He has given Indiana a first down at the 41. 345 left in the half. The toss and now the end around is Stoner. Looking for a block from his quarterback. Cuts back inside and got about three. Ditto got out there. Three minutes left in the half. 14-7 Nittany Lions. Ditto fires outside. That ball gets there in a hurry, and it's lucky it did because Indiana trying to keep a drive alive before halftime. Third and a short three. They need to get to the 49 of Penn State. Giving them the hitches. Two tight ends set, but they'll come up throwing, and they pick up the first down. And whoops, they say he didn't hold on. Take it back. Julio got a little more on this one. Still an end over end punt, and it hit a Penn State player. And Penn State got back on top of it. I think Tony Pittman is the guy at hit, and he may have covered it. Watch out. Don't have a letdown if you're an Indiana defender. They'll keep it on the ground. And still, they're going to get a big play out of Kajana Carter, who goes out for about 13. 27-yard line. First down, Penn State. Collins rifles it. Intercepted. Picked off by Eric Allen. He had his hands on one earlier. He keeps his hands on this one. Swipe that one. This is the best starting field position for Indiana. See what they can do with it. With 137 left in the half, they trail by seven. And Ditto that time hit as he threw. Indiana two timeouts remaining. Here in the final 90 seconds. Ditto wide open over the middle. He got it to Eddie Beatty. And Beatty won't go down. Finally does. Hey, you got to work your way back on the field. 109 left in the half on a third down and five, and this pass is complete, but it's short. And now, maybe you do think about going on fourth and three. Play of the day so far at the Penn State 37. And penalty markers all over the field. Shed ball, ball start, offense. Boy, you call a timeout. You ball the back to Penn State with, with the win, 50 seconds to go if you don't make it. Julio trying to lay one down inside the 10. It looks like he has again. Oh, boy. How close is it? Inches or yeah, touchback? Called it a touchback, touchback, I think. Just a two-wide receiver set, but Archie's on a wing right there, you can see. He's a dangerous receiver. They're going to give it to him on an end around, and he's got great wheels. And he is out across the 40 to the 41-yard line. And you'll have the ball on the 35-yard line. First down at the 42. Collins comes up fire wide open. Zingram down the middle. He's into Indiana territory at the 43. With 32 seconds left, two timeouts left, and a first and 10 at the Indiana 43. Collins pooch pass inside of Archie. Broke a tackle. And then ran into Trevor Wilmot, who made the stop at the hurry up. Second down. Collins. 
Stands tall down the middle. Freddie Scott to the 13. And now they take the timeout with four seconds left. For Brett Conway, the final play of the first half. Trying to tack three more on for Penn State. As Bill Mallory looks on, his troops have played the number two team in the country strong for a half, but they're going to be trailing at halftime by a 10-point margin. Kick is good. And remember, Indiana gets the ball to start the third quarter, and they have the wind as well. This kick will go first half all year that John Pacey, the fifth-year senior in the middle of your screen, has not started. First play, third quarter. Indiana from its own corner. Alex Smith, the ground game has not developed for them today, and Smith got out. Wilkerson, the man in motion, Diddle loads it, fires outside. Beatty, big catch by Eddie Beatty, short of the first down. In receiver of Indiana record books as far as career catches. On short yardage, Smith gets it. Tough day for Alex, the number six rusher in the country coming in. But he picked up a big first down there. Ditto with plenty of time. Fires complete. And it is Eric Matthews this time. Out to the 48-yard line as an inspirational leader from the sideline. Ditto in his stead has looked sharp throwing the ball. Just inside the 49, it's a first down. Smith. Ooh. There's just not much there. Phil Yaboa Cody made first contact. The Penn State seniors, especially their center, Bucky Greeley said, no way, coach. We're not messing up these great uniforms with a patch. Ditto gets rid of it at the last second, and Stoner could have been off to the races had he held on. Average yards to go, you can see, six. They're doing a pretty good job on their third down conversions. Their second, third, and ten of the day. A big one here, and Ditto lays it out, and just... A little too far. Jim, Jim DeGiulio to punt. This is not quite what he wanted, but he might get a good bounce. At least it'll go out inside the 15. Working inside its own 15 again. Of the 14 on first down. And stood up straight to John Carter. Trevor Wilmot and company are there. So the Indians give him a lot of checkoffs. Second down and nine. Play fake it to Carter, go right back to him, in and out of his hands, and they're lucky if they didn't get it intercepted. Five of the eight drives for Penn State have started inside their own 20, and now they got third and nine from the 15. Out in the flat, trying to get to the first down is Mill, and he won't get there. And out, so that Indiana defense there is talking about doing a nice job. Juravicious got all of this one into the wind. Beatty tracks it at the 35 and gets dropped in his tracks at the 35. Excellent coverage at the 16-yard line, third and 29. Three wide outs for Ditto. Prevent defense in there for Penn State. Ditto steps up, pumps once, brings it back, goes down the middle for what he can, and Smith can't hold it anyway. Well, that could have been... Uh, not the best kick that he's had, that's for sure. Maybe he'll hit a Penn State player again. One did earlier. This one's going to be tracked down at the 46-yard line. And Indiana's saying it. That touched a Penn State player. Unbeaten in the Big Ten. Perfect overall at 7-0 in their best starting field position. The 46-yard line with a 10-point lead. Checking it off again. Eight-man front. Collins loads it and rifles it for Ingram. Trying to make the adjustment incomplete. And that wind is really whipping. Right into the face of Penn State's offense. So they'll keep it on the ground and an end around. Carter, Kajana back in there and down to the 40-yard line of first down and a pickup of 14. They help. Pull Carter out to a first down and now Kajana's got it out of the backfield. Then Penn State. Coming in, tops in the country in total offense at 543 a game, and they're over 300 now, but still just leading by 10. Carter, big opening off the right side, and he's down to the 31. He's about a yard short of a first down. Field faking the pass to pick up the touchdown. Third and one. Carter got it. Lance Brown wraps him up, but not before he picked up about four yards. And they'd like to get the ball back with a win, which they have 650 left in this quarter. Collins throws a streak to Scott and he can't hold it. Smedley was covering. Hope his offense scores some points. 
Ingram goes out. Both wide outs to the left side for Collins, but he comes back the other way to Archie, who made a nifty catch. And goes out of bounds just inside the 21. Collins has been intercepted twice today. Now third and four. He fires and it hit his best receiver, or arguably one of the best of the Big Ten, right in the hands, and he couldn't hold it. And this will be 38. I'd be looking for the fake if I was Indiana on this play. Lance Brown is a guy that can block kicks if Indiana can get their hand on one. Bill Collins to hold. The kick drifts to the left and drifts just right for Conway. Got it. Say that's pretty impressive because that thing went about 10 yards past into a strong wind. And it curled in. Miller to hold. Conway to kick. Again, they dribble it down the middle, and this one is picked up by Glover. And John Glover, nice job, almost to the 40-yard line. 6.23 left. Indiana with a big wind that it's back. Chris Ditto stays in at quarterback. Alex Smith trying to get something going with a ground game, and this time does get a nice carry, six yards. Second down along two for the Hoosiers. Trying to get it back in Penn State territory. They come the other way. Try as he may, Smith can't get a first down. Third down and a very long yard, and a big yard it is. Two tight ends set for the Hoosiers. They desperately need this one to keep the drive alive and toss to Smith. No, Gelsheiser. And Dingle. To Julio to punt. This time he got a spiral out of the deal, but it takes the wrong bounce. And 20 to 7, Nittany Lions, 4-16 left third quarter. Collins quickly into Ingram, and he didn't hold that one. Yeah, it's, it's just so tough. To He's over 200 yards, and that is the 13th time in his career. Over 200 yards, a school record. Another end around coming. Here it comes. Freddie Scott waits for his blockers, and Freddie tiptoes down the sideline and might have gotten a first down out of that. 4.04 left third quarter. John Carter in there, gets it on a little delayed draw, and runs smack down into John Hammerstein. And they drop Carter for a loss at second down 11. They'll try and end around again of sorts with Kajana Carter. Flag down and Carter down at the 45-yard line, about a yard short of the first down. But Full house backfield for Penn State. They give it off. The fullback gets him a first down at Brian Mill. First down. Just outside their own 48-yard line with Nittany Lions with a 20-7 lead here late in the third quarter. Archie. Got to the Indiana side of the field. Let's see if they don't try to get the ball back to Brady now. He's the guy that opened things up for him in the first half, I thought. Kyle Brady, the tight end. Seventh play of the drive on the second and six. Throw it out to Mill, the fullback. Dives his way to a first down at the 40. Freddie Scott in motion on a first down. Penn State at the Indiana 40. Counter Carter. Only about a yard. Second down of 10. They're down during a minute. Here comes a blitz on Collins. He fires out. Oh, that was close to being picked off. Intended for Freddie Scott. And Smedley was very close. And he's looking for his defense to come up with something big. Third and 10, Penn State. Carter, big hole right side. Kajana Carter to the 21. And he rips off a 19-yard gain on third and 10. There he lines up. This time, Mill goes up the middle, and he gets about four. 13-point lead here in the Big Ten. Penn State leading Indiana. 12th play of the Penn State drive. Mike Archie, submarine by Derek Terrell. We played three. Number two, Penn State. Pass interference, Indiana. Illegal use of the hands after the ball, but was this ball catchable is the question I have. Kind of hits him. The ball is about and blowing about eight yards in front of the play. I think that's a pretty good call. He 81. Carter with another 100-yard day so far, trying to add to it. He got a couple, that's it. Trevor Wilmot did a nice job that time. They give it off to Milne. Powers his way. Did he get there? Not quite. So close. He's got all kinds of speed. He's lined up to the left of that full house backfield. 
15th play of the drive. It's Archie for the touchdown. Knife's through behind his right guard. And his lead blockers in Penn State's got six more. And they're going to go for two more. No big surprise on this play. Justin Williams with Collins and Ingram as the extra wideouts. Over the top to Archie. Touchdown. Or extra point good, I should say. I, I, I don't know. I may be off here, but my first glance is that Indiana only had ten men on the field for that two-point play. Reading the quarterback's eyes. Three wideouts for Ditto on second and ten. Fires short. Looking for the run after the catch is Stoner, and he did get decent yardage. Straight up the middle is Cheney. He bursts his way out for 11 or 12 at a first down, Indiana. He can't hold it. He can't block anymore. You can see it looks like a little white bowling ball of his left hand. Here's Cheney coming to the right side. We're running to Gelsheiser. Running strongly today. 21 yards on four carries for Drake. Second down at five. Football for the Hoosiers at their own 47. Ditto ran into the play action. Almost hurt himself, and now he is a little more hurt. Yaboa Cody from the backside takes him down. Four wide receivers for Ditto. And we're down to 11 minutes in the game. Ditto fires, lays it out. Stoner couldn't hold it. It took just an instant too long for that pass to get there. He's really only had one punt that he's going to write home to mom and dad about. Oh, he might have one here. He hit this one. Archie backpedals to the 10. Flags are down. Archie in to the secondary, and he's on his way. Mike Archie might score, but I think it's going to come back. All the way for the touchdown is Archie. But there are flags all over the place back at the 15-yard line. It would have been a 90-yard touchdown return. I think you can forget about it. To tell us the inevitable. Joe Paterno wasn't too happy, and, uh, Adrian. To John Carter, dragged down. Got to be Alfonso Thurman. <laughs> Penn State has to line up basically in its own end zone. Carter hit at the line of scrimmage. Eli Rashid. Uncomfortable with the game. They seem to be a little lethargic all day. Carter in motion out of the backfield. Collins looks right, goes there. Almost had it intercepted. Well, that was Trevor Wilmot who had his hands on it today, and that was Lance Brown. They bring it. Did they get a piece of another one? They did. And the ball is going to come down. Was it Lance Brown again? It may have been. The ball rolls dead way out by the 34-yard line, but I think it was the senior safety, Lance Brown, who's Mr. Kick Blocker to the partially blocked punt. Gives them great field position, but they're going to have to strike early and often. And they'll go on the ground. Alex Smith. That's his longest run maybe of the day. Second longest. Two blocked punts. Not a bad day's work. First down. After Penn State 23, Smith again finds an opening. Smith runs tough for nine more inside the 15. On second down, it's short now. They maybe got one to play with here. A long yard to go on second down. They'll stay with it on the ground. And inside the 10 goes Steve Lee. <laughs> Count is good for a first down. First and goal. Smith, maybe two. Second and goal at the seven-yard line. And we've got seven minutes, five seconds left in the game. Smith ran into Gelsheiser. Pretty good collision at about the six. Correct myself. Third and goal. The end zone wide open. Touchdown to Stoner. His second of the day. Boy, somebody missed a coverage. There was no one within ten yards of a John Stoner. Uh-oh. You blitz and you don't cover the main receiver, you're in trouble. Manilopoulos in for the point after, and he's got it up and good with six minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. Penn State has the lead up by the helmet on right now to John Carter. Well, they won't go three and out this time. They might go 80 yards for a touchdown. Can John Carter on his way? One man left to beat, and he won't get it. Touchdown, 80 yards for the All-American candidate. Lights out. Right after. At the 33-yard line, first down. In the end. Sunshine coming out now. Well, we the winds have died down. Too late to maybe help the Hoosiers, though. 
Alex Smith makes the catch out of the backfield. Knowing that his day is done. Ditto takes off with this one. And he's got a first down. 447. The clock winding. Ditto from the gun. Throws the screen out. Smith about an opening. Alex Smith now. He's into the secondary and he's off to the races. He's got excellent speed, but he's tracked down by Tony Pittman. Or was it Brian Miller? It's Brian Miller. <laughs> and Acini. All wrapped up. Penn State and career tackle charts, and he is up that total today. He is pretty solid. Ditto works his way around a whole bunch of trouble and gets down near the 16-yard line. Not to be 8-0 for the Nittany Lions. So Indiana's driving on third and eight. To the end zone again, man there. Oh, what a collision. Miller and his own man back there, Kim Herring. Ball hangs just a bit because it wasn't a great spiral, but you see it. Herring, whoa. Oh. Coming from one side and Miller from the other. That's wicked. It's fourth and eight, the spot Indiana's on right now. Maybe their last play on offense. And the ball loose. It will be their last play. Gelsheiser picks it up. Gelsheiser, after a huge day, is going all the way in a fumble recovery. Flag is down, but Gelsheiser takes it 75 yards for a touchdown. 12 tackles on the day, and then a fumble return for a score, unless it's coming back. Got the flag. Defensive pace mask. Wow. Major turnaround, huh? And now Brian Gelsheiser is going, I could use a blow here, Coach. Right. Dead of a touchdown for Penn State, a fourth and three at the Penn State 11-yard line. So is this the final play for Indiana or not? We'll find out. A trail, 35-14. Ditto. Across the middle. Picks up the first down. 